root here, and this is what I bought from uh, the most recent craft stash sale. Lose up to 70 percent off or something like that. Or it was 60 or 40. I can't remember. But it was a during the sale, so I got these two. And the ink, the ink wasn't on sale, but it was cheaper than on Amazon. So this is the uh, solvent based ink stays on, which I mainly got it for this, as well as if I wanted to stamp on acetate or other plastic or other uh, material. So this is for that. If you want to move or whatever. <clears throat> It's by the uh, same brand as uh, my uh, Tuxedo Black one. It's a uh, Skinetho brand. Uh, designed especially for use on plastic, metal, glass, ceramic, laminated paper, coated paper, and leather. Not recommended for fabric. Keep pad covered when not in use. Use in a well ventilated area. Do not inhale or ingest. Avoid contact with eyes and skin. Keep away from flame and store at a room temperature. Keep out of reach of children. Not in a solvent based ink, so that's probably why. <clears throat> anyway, uh, it didn't come with a. Uh, Packing slip, I think. I don't really see one. What am I gonna do? I thought. But anyway, uh, one of them was sixteen pounds something. The other one was nineteen pounds something. Can't remember which. I think this one was maybe the sixteen, and this was the nineteen. Anyway, the uh, the brand is uh, Major Surprise by Sam Calcott. This is the slide and reveal 5x7 inch mechanism die set. So I thought this would be a cool card to make. That's the uh, I guess product coming in. <coughs> Die cut two of the die with the slots on the large plain rectangle die. Cut in. Fold and garnish on the score lines. And the mountain folds in here with a small tab. And to each of the large piece. Die cut two of the small rectangles. Two of the small strips. Fold and burnish the small strips and wrap around the regular rectangle pieces in here, tabs on the back. Glue to the back of the pieces, right here to the back of both of the ink panels and ink card. And decorate two of the finger pull strips and feed under the small strips. So the tabs hang out either end. I got two of the frame die and two together to make it stronger. Add a little glue to the tabs in here at each corner, to each corner frames, decorate as desired. Hmm. Well, it's packaged like this. In a bag that has a hole in it. But that, anyway, this and those are the strips. This is like the frame, maybe. Well, anyway, I'll look into it some better at a different time. Currently, it's like almost. What is it? It's 12.43 in the morning. 
I don't know why I just started recording right now. Don't ask me. I have no clue. But since I had the light on, I thought it was off. So this is the 6x6 inch mechanism die set. Not actual size. Mm -hmm. Um, this is the magic color one. I forgot the whole title. Um, cut large die in your chosen color. I cut the plain square with a white card in it, acetate, and stamp your chosen image in the center. I view the acetate piece behind the frame and the white piece onto the inside and fold in half so the two images line up. Cut the pull tab piece and slide through the slot. Cut each of the strip pieces and adhere to the end. Then adhere these around the inside and reach with notched end tools top. Add glue on top of the strips and glue the top. Adhere the frame desired and the large layer to your card. I glue to the back of the main piece and adhere into the center of the card that I just desired. Though personally, I probably maybe want to decorate before sticking everything together, or at most things together. Oh, oh there's an arrow. Here's the pole, so I can go and cut some bits, some more dies. But yes, it's very long. Well, the way I store my dies now, if you hadn't, if I hadn't said already, is uh, I stick it in the filing cabinet. At least on one of the drawers in the filing cabinet. So I'll just. Hmm. Maybe. Cut some. Yeah, cut three sides. Have it like a book. Put magnetic sheet bits on each side. So it's like a book that when I open it, so then I'll keep the uh, instructions on it without cutting it out or anything. I'm tired, so I'm just rambling. So, I believe mean, that's it. It's nothing too, too extreme. It's only three things in this little sale hall. I don't really call it a hole, would it? Mm. Anyway, I'm tired. I have one more video to record. Then I'm going to sleep. So, I guess look forward to maybe at least the finished product, because I tend to forget to actually record what I'm making these days. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Over and over.